So this week, guys, on Crazy D's Equipment, you're voted for 10 of your favorite garden tractors. Okay guys, so we got a little business we need to take care of before we start going through the garden tractors that you all picked. So the first thing I want to say is, again, you guys have voted for all these garden tractors. And if you're watching this video and you disagree with some of these or you don't think maybe, hey, this one's better than that one, subscribe to the channel. I run a poll on these videos every month on this uh, community page. So you guys go in there, you vote, you, your voice is heard. So subscribe to the channel so you have the ability to do that. The second thing is these tractors, these garden tractors, they, this material doesn't usually do very good for my channel and a bunch of you wanted this material. So guys, get out there, get this shared. If you guys can get 3,000 views in the first week on this video, I would be more than glad to do more garden tractor material. These videos take me a month to put together, so if I'm not getting that kind of views on this video, it really doesn't make it worth my time and effort to do these, even though I love garden tractors just as much as you guys do. And the other thing is, guys, I posted this picture on the community page and challenged you guys to guess what this tractor was, and many of you were very close. For every one of you that voted Case, you're in the right ballpark. It ended up, I bought a Case DC, and there'll be more of this tractor over on the Doc channel. He's going to see if he can get it going or if it's going to be a parts tractor. So you guys can check that out. And then the one last and final piece of business we need to take care of. This morning when I came in in the mailbox was this t-shirt. I don't know who sent it to me. It just came to Crazy D's at Omega Auto Clinic. And I just want to thank whoever sent this. This is absolutely perfect. It actually kind of fits my thought process quite well and if anybody else wants to send me something I'm more than glad to take it thank you guys so much I really really appreciate this and this was really awesome let's get to some guard tractors already number 10 Bolins 1050 the 1050 was built from 1966 to 1969 it has a 10 horsepower Wisconsin 331 cc one cylinder gas engine. Also, you have the option of a 361 cc one cylinder gas engine. It has a six speed manual transmission. Your options of a 42 inch mower deck, a snow blower, and a blade. Number nine Alice Chamber 920. The 920 was built from 1982 to 1985. It has an 18 horse Lamborghini 790 cc two cylinder diesel engine with a hydrostatic transmission. You had the choice of a 42 or 48 inch mower deck. Also, you could pick up a snow blower and a blade for this as standard equipment. Number eight. Case 190. The 190 was built in 1966. It had a 12 horse Kohler with 476 cc one cylinder gas. Again, hydrostatic transmission with a blade being standard, a snow blower, and I could not find for sure on the mower deck. I searched and searched on this one, guys. I've had one of these. It, 
I had had a 48 inch deck underneath it. I thought it was standard for it, but I could not find anything for sure. So we're gonna say questionably a 48 inch deck. Number seven. The John Deere 455. Built from 1992 to 2000. It has a 22 horsepower Yamar 881cc three-cylinder diesel engine in it. You had your choice of a 48, 54, or 60 inch mower deck. Also, you could get a snowblower, a blade, and a front end loader for this one, standard from John Deere. Number six. The Bolins 1800, built from 1986 to 1988. It had an 18 horsepower Kohler 691 cc two-cylinder gas engine in it. You had your choice of a 42 or 48 inch mower deck, snow blower, and a blade. Number five. Cub Cadet 169 was only built in 1974. It had a 16 horsepower Kohler 588 cc one cylinder gas engine in it. You had your choice on this one of a 38, 44, or 50 inch deck. You could buy other equipment for it through Cub Cadet, but nothing was offered specifically just for the 169. Number four. John Deere 110. The 110 was built from 1963 to 1974. It had a 7 horsepower Kohler 277 cc one cylinder gas engine or a 8 horsepower Kohler 305 cc one cylinder gas engine. You had your choice of a three or four speed transmission, CVT transmission. The 110 was not named that due to horsepower. It was named that to reference the new generation of John Deere that just came out. For an example, the 1010 or the 2010 or 3010 tractors. In 1969, they started offering the patio series. The patio series, you could buy the tractors in different colors. The 110 was offered in patio red. You also had the choices of spruce blue, April yellow, sunset orange, or John Deere green. Unfortunately, the 110 was only offered in patio red and John Deere green. The other colors only came on the 112. Number three. Case 446. The 446 was built from 1972 to 1988. It had an Owen 16 horsepower, 709 cc two cylinder gas engine in it. You had the choice of a 44 or 48 inch mower deck, and also you had a snow blower or blade that you could purchase for it. Number two. Alice Chalmer B-112. The B-112 was built from 1968 to 1970. It had a 12 horse Briggs and Stratton 494 cc one cylinder gas engine. You had the offer of a 42 or 48 inch mower deck with it, snow blower, front end blade. Also, you could get a front end loader for it Many other pieces of equipment were offered, but those were the main items that you could buy all at once for it. Honorable Mention Case 444 The Case 444 was built from 69 to 1976. It had a 14 horsepower Kohler 512 cc one cylinder gas engine. It had a hydrostatic transmission. You could get a 44 or 48 inch mower deck for it, a front end loader, a snow blower, and a blade. Okay guys, time for the number one pick. 
you guys voted for it, and you say in this one, the best garden tractor is the Cub Cadet 1450. The 1450 was built from 1974 to 1980. It had a 14 horsepower Kohler 512cc one cylinder gas engine in it with a hydrostatic transmission. You had a 38, a 44, or a 50 inch mower deck for it, and many other pieces of equipment that Cub Cadet offered. That was your subscriber picked top 10 or best of garden tractors. Real quick before we move on from here, guys, I just bought a house. So next week, there will be no Crazy D video and possibly the week after that. We are going to be working really hard coming up with a very, very special episode for our 100th episode, which will be the next video out. But until then, you can watch top 10 playlists here, or if you missed the doc, maybe one of the doc's videos here. Otherwise, guys, thank you for coming in and thank you for watching, and we will see you as soon as I get back.